All right, what is going on, y'all? It's your boy, DJ Richie Sky, and I am back with another video. So I am sitting outside on the patio, and I thought to myself, you know, I wanted to tell you guys a quick little story about how this channel got demonetized. And it's interesting, and I think I want it to be a lesson for a lot of you guys and I wanted to be transparent about it as well, because I think it's super important, especially if you are starting on YouTube or you've been on YouTube for quite some time, or you've just kind of been playing around with YouTube and you really wanted to get serious. You know, I think it's important for you to understand how monetization works on YouTube and what to do to keep it so that you don't get demonetized, right? Like I did with this channel. So for a lot of you guys, you may know me already from my news YouTube channel, which is just under DJ Richie Sky, where I talk about reality TV news and pop culture news. And you know, that channel has really grown and blossomed and it's been great because it's been a, it's, it's been a blessing because I've been able to really connect with, you know, I would say 200,000 subscribers. And um, I'm very fortunate to have been able to do that over the course of these past few years. But because I wanted to also explore other avenues of my life that I really, really loved, um, travel being one of them, but also educating people about what to do on YouTube and just talking about things that really, really interest me outside of the world of news and entertainment, I said, well, you know, I'll start a new YouTube channel and that's what I started here. But, you know, because I was so heavily into my other channel and growing it the way that I did, I really honestly was very sporadic with how I posted on this particular channel here. So I said to myself, well, you know, let me focus on the thing that is growing rapidly and that was my, new my news channel. So I said, okay, I'll focus most of my attention there. I don't regret that at all, but I do regret what happened next because I did a lot of work to get this channel over here monetized and I did the unthinkable. I actually stopped posting on the channel and YouTube is actually pretty good because they'll actually usually send you a warning that hey, you know, we noticed that you're not posting on this channel. So once the channel becomes inactive, it can lose its monetization eligibility. And that is exactly what happened to me. So I just sort of figured to myself at the time, I was like, well, you know, I'll just continue to focus on, you know, what, I'm, what I've been focusing on, which was news. But what I also have discovered along the way is I have, so many other interests. I have so many other ways that I feel like I can help and I can educate people. Because really and truthfully, I feel like YouTube is a great place for edutainment, right? You can utilize it to entertain people. You can also utilize it to educate people. So I think it's really the best of all worlds. And I would even say this channel to me has grown to become, I think, more of a place where I really, really enjoy creating the content simply because I feel like it's a channel where I can help people as well as entertain them with travel related content. And I feel like it's actually more motivational, although I do try to incorporate some aspects of motivation and inspiration on my news YouTube channel, I just kind of felt like here is where I can really dive in and help more people. And that has become really important to me, especially since I traveled to Switzerland. I remember asking God when I was in Switzerland, okay, what should I do next? Because I'm always thinking about the next thing that I wanna do. And I just remember laying in a couple of the saunas in like a couple of the different hotels, because I would try to get into the sauna any, any chance I could during the vacation because I found that it was a great way for me to unwind. And so what I ended up doing was I was like, God, you know, well, what, what do you want me to do, right? And I felt like I listened and I felt like God said, you know, you love to travel, show people your travel adventures, document the process 
document the things that you're doing that you really love, you know, whether it is creating content, you know, writing books, writing eBooks, those are the things that I wanna focus on on this channel. So I really started to get serious about this channel again over the past couple of months, right? And I'm, I'm, I'm at a space where I, I, I love just creating content in general. So I've just began to make this more of a priority. And while I still create news content for my news channel, I am really beginning to focus a lot more on this channel specifically. Um, so I am working to get it remonetized because there was nothing that I did that really made it ineligible except that I became inactive. And that's the message that I wanna tell you guys today is if you are a content creator, if you are on YouTube or any other platform, you know, it's really about losing momentum, right? And when we lose momentum and we become, we get into this place of stasis where we're not moving and we're not moving forward, we're not able to make progress. We become ineligible to make the progress that we're looking to make. And I felt like that was the lesson that I learned with YouTube and this channel specifically, is that because there was no movement, there was no motion, there was no really, there was really no place for the channel to go or grow, right? So now that I've been creating content on this channel again steadily, I've began to see that I'm on the way to meeting the criteria for remonetization, which was basically getting back to those 4,000 watch hours that you need to get to when you first start the monetization process for a YouTube channel. So I am well on my way. So I'm extremely excited about that. But I did think that this was a cautionary tale for people out there who are interested in content creation in general, or maybe you are just starting your YouTube channel, or maybe you had a YouTube channel, but you haven't really posted on it in a while. I personally feel like everyone should have a YouTube channel. I feel like everyone should have an outlet where they're able to document their lives, document the things that they're interested in, document how to's for people to learn from and grow from. And I just think that it's super important and it's also super easy. And when I say easy, I don't mean that it's just as simple as, you know, sitting in front of the camera, but it, it kind of is to a certain degree because if you never start, then you can never gain any momentum. If you never start, you never offer YouTube the opportunity to collect data on what it is that resonates well with your viewers. So for me, I just wanted to get on here and sort of give you guys a little story time about what happened to me and getting my and my channel getting demonetized. And I just wanna let you know that if it becomes demonetized based on inactivity that it is not the end of the world. You simply just need to get re-engaged, get refocused and create more content and make sure that this time when you're creating content, you are creating content that you truly enjoy. It doesn't have to be super edited. It doesn't have to be super fancy. You don't have to start with anything more than a, than your phone, to be honest with you, because when I first started YouTube, I started with my phone. I think I used my phone for the first two years and I was able to get monetized relatively quickly because I was talking about something that people wanted to hear about. So I took two things and I always tell this to people anytime that they're thinking about, you know, starting a YouTube channel or starting their YouTube journey is this. What you wanna do is take two things and put them together. One, something that you're passionate about, whatever it is, that is gonna be your why. That's gonna be the thing that keeps you going as you continue to grow on YouTube. And even when you're growing and you don't see the growth as fast as you want, that will be the thing that keeps you focused. That will be the thing that keeps you coming back to create more content because you love it and you're passionate about it. The second thing is, to combine that with something that people are searching for. You know, for this video, I mean, it could be it could be learning about how people get demonetized, what to do if you get demonetized. You know, you just think about ways that you can incorporate, you know, the search engine process or the search engine, I guess I should say hook. You know, what is it that's gonna bring your, your audience to you 
So just combine the two, what you're passionate about with what people are searching for. And that's honestly the key with creating content on YouTube. And the key to growing is to just keep creating content because the more content you create, the more data you are able to provide YouTube in order for them to be able to say, oh, well, this audience likes these types of videos. Oh, this is what this creator is focused on. Oh, this type of video from this creator has worked really well. Now you know what to double down on, right? So those are some quick YouTube tips from someone who has been demonetized and is working on their way back to monetization status on this particular channel. But you guys can still enjoy all of the travel content, all of the travel related videos, because I simply love doing them, right? And in terms of what we're going to be doing next on this channel, I am going to be teaching you guys about ways to make, to make income um specifically with side hustles but for me i want to focus on things that i'm actually doing that i know that work um i think that there are a lot of great channels out there that will tell you how to make you know a thousand dollars per day and i think that's amazing because they can provide you with outlets for things that you can try and ways that are available to you to make an income but I think for me, one of the things that I really, really want to focus on right now are things that I am actually doing that make income for me currently or have made money for me in the past that I know are for sure surefire ways to earn extra income and to really stake your your claim in this digital landscape, right? Because to me, I always feel like each piece of content that you make is digital real estate and it has the chance and the opportunity to grow. But so can the products and services that we're going to focus on that I want to help you make and develop. And that's going to be something that's important to me is not just me selling you a product or a course or anything like that. It is actually working with you to ensure that you complete the things that you start, right? Because if you don't, then what's the point of it all? You can take a thousand courses, you know, but if you don't have someone who is available for you to ask questions along the way or to, you know, provide mentorship on a continuous basis, then, you know, sometimes, you know, everybody can buy a course, but not everybody is gonna be able to just simply sit down and implement it. Sometimes people need handholding and I wanna provide you with some of that handholding because I also want to make sure that for as much of an audience as I've built, that I also leave a legacy that is one that I can look back on and be proud of and say, I help people get to a space where they really wanna be and they really enjoy their lives in the same way that God has blessed me to enjoy mine. So anyway, I just wanted to make this video for you really, really quickly and I wanted to do it outside because it was such a nice day. If you guys like this sort of content, let me know and I'll definitely do a lot more of them. But for right now, if you would subscribe to the channel and hit that like button, then that would really help me grow in the algorithm on this channel, like I am hoping to do rather quickly. And hopefully we can get back to that monetization status that, you know, we became ineligible for because of the inactivity. Because guess what? Your boy is active now. So we're going to keep that going. All right. So I'll see you guys in the next video.